Hey, what's up you guys? Am I going to the New Holland? No, I'm not. But I'm looking behind the New Holland, you guys, and there's no corn there. Looks like Dan and Danny have been busy this weekend, huh? They got this field cut. This is the field that I normally check in at. And I can see that they're way over there. And the test plot corn is still there. But yeah. I'm going to this sprayer, you guys. Got to get some bean spray. It's not, it's not the big boy sprayer. <laughs> we got to lift the booms up on it so that it can get over the beans, though. So, guess we're going to work on that first. Man, the windows are filled with dew this morning. I can't see anything out of them. But guess what? The wipers work on here, so there we go. Got to get the boom, like I said, from this level up to that level so it can go over the beans. So we gonna work on it, you guys. You guys, we got it up higher. And let me tell you, Dan took it to the next level. He went higher than when I thought we were gonna go. I thought it was gonna go there, but we went all the way up. <laughs> so it's, I've never seen it this high before. Them beans are tall though, so maybe that'll get over it. <laughs> yeah, you guys, so like I said, they got that field almost finished. And Dan was telling me about how, man, it's real rocky in this tractor. He was telling me about how the difference in the size of corn, like the height, he was saying that probably the frost that we got earlier in the year, it probably stunted the growth of a lot of the corn that they've picked already because he said that the corn after that, which was planted after the, the first frost that we got on the corn, that corn is taller than that which they've already picked. So I think they're gonna be getting into some taller corn. But anyway, we're headed to the field, you guys. Alrighty, you guys. So we are arriving at this first piece of a field that I gotta get sprayed. Got the peanuts over there. Oh man, yeah, this is gonna be different. Wow, we you guys. <laughs> and I'm telling you, these beans are tall. This tractor don't sit as tall as the um. Let me see what I want to do here. As tall as the the tractor that I've been spraying peanuts with. But I think I'm going to. And that's mo that's mowing down them beans too. Oh, and I'm not as wide either. The sprayer. Hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the little sprayer. So I guess I'm going to have to say, you guys, we're spraying with the little boy sprayer. <laughs> Ew. What's up, you guys? We're spraying with the little boy sprayer. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, I got to get the... Uh, the pressure and things set right, so. But yeah, look how it's laying them beans down. Got a leak already, you guys. That pressure gauge over there on that right boom is leaking. Man. You guys, y'all see where these uh these beans come to me? I knew that they was tall out here. Y'all remember when I was spraying the peanuts over there, I was like, man, them beans look mighty tall. But anyway, that's why it's laying them down so bad. But Dan is gonna bring me a, a fitting for that pressure gauge and we're gonna get it switched out. All right, I got it on. Let's see if it's gonna do right. Oh yeah, okay. 35 PSI back there. All right, we good to go. Um, now I'm gonna tell you this, spraying beans is not like spraying peanuts. So you probably not gonna wanna ride on my head too much because I'm gonna have to turn my head a whole lot, you guys, a whole lot. <laughs> I guess just to get started, we'll see how it does anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and lift this spray all the way up. I'll tell you, I've never sprayed with it this high before. So, uh, but it needs to be high. Like I was saying, I need to find my spot here. And we got to do nine miles an hour. So we're going faster than, uh, the peanut spraying and yes when I was planting here one of the rows got stopped up. 
so that's why there's a gap right there and I guess I should put my tire there but I, I'm pretty sure laying these beans down they're gonna stay laid down as big as they are and I need to set this little this little uh, GPS to help me stay in the road next time I come back down it's not like the it's not like the green star that come with the tractor and things but it helped you stay aligned especially being that uh, the rows out here was planted with the drill and you'll never find them rows now they might be better when we get to where Dan planted with the planter but yeah I need it <laughs> I need it you guys wow I'm telling these beans are tall they've done good this year praise the Lord just trying to get some fungicide and some insecticide out Dan said that the worms are getting sort of bad so we don't want them to eat up the beans so I guess I'm gonna hit the end rows now you can see how they laid them down and I got to get used to this control over here um, it's sort of so it's a little backwards a little backwards from how it seemed like it should be yeah and it's bumpy there's a trench right here a low place I used to always Hit it hard with the four-wheeler when I be riding along the edge of the woods. Oh, my four-wheeler, I'm missing you guys. <laughs> Look like these beans got laid over a little bit during that wind. You guys, uh, a fox just ran out in that bare place back there. <laughs> wow, we need to cut that limb. Woo, whoa, okay. Man. So I, I made it back over to that first pass I made. And uh, of course, I made that, that in row pass along the woods over there. So now I'm going to have to. I'm looking at this little GPS thing here. And this is a 60 foot sprayer. So I'm going to look at a place that looks like it might be as wide as two sprayer passes and then I'm gonna cut over to the left until that thing gets me lined back up with the right spacing because this this little portion is probably only like two and a half sprayer passes wide so I'm thinking about right here if I come over and I look at it you probably can't see it too much on the screen there it'll get back to the to the zero I actually had to back up you guys okay so now it's at the zero now it's at the zero so I know that I need to turn I need to turn down in here somewhere and just that quick this thing is finicky I ain't gonna lie it's real finicky it's real finicky I'm gonna have to back up again it was just on zero and it moved just that quick I hate Man, I hate this having to run over all these beans. It's real finicky. Man, oh man. So it's about at 2.1. So I'm just going to turn on that right boom over there. And about right here. We'll go straight down right here. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and turn on the middle section as well. And then... When it gets as wide as what I think, I don't think I have to turn that section on, truth be told. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna turn that section on over there. So we just go straight down with the GPS. And I tell you what, the, the sprayer boom is just getting over them beans 
<laughs> pretty crazy pretty good actually and that trench is right here slow down no it's not as bad right there turn off my middle section turn off my right section so that field is done I'm gonna leave out this way so I don't have to run over no more beans but uh hey that's pretty much the process of spraying so like I said uh you guys riding on the head I know y'all get motion sickness from me turning my head so much <laughs> Got the little section of peanuts there. And we're gonna head on to the next field, you guys. You guys, these beans out here are tall as well. As a matter of fact, right here. Let's get out and take a peep right quick. Man. Like, yeah, crazy. Uh-oh. And look at this. See the worms, you guys? You guys see the worms? Wow. That's why we got a spray. Got all of these different worms here that are eating the beans up. Man, this is just crazy. Oh, I'm tripping up over them. Look at where it's at. I feel like I'm in a jungle or something out here, man. But look at this right here. You see the worm there? How it's eating up the leaf, the foliage. I told you guys before that the leaves is how the plant gets the sunlight so they can grow. And if the worms eat up the leaves, then the plant can't grow like it's supposed to. So, Gotta take care of them jokers. Alright you guys, so I've sprayed a couple of fields already since I last chatted with you. I'm entering another field here that I planted with the grain drill. And so I'm pretty sure that like somebody done some bush hogging not too long ago. I'm pretty sure that um still gonna be needing the GPS is that really what I wanted to say I don't even know if that's what I wanted to say looking at that mowing broke my attention I forgot what I really wanted to say you guys <laughs> but anyway yeah this is another field that matter of fact this is the very first field that I planted um, with the grain drill the very first field that I planted so I need to get my my GPS reset get it cleared out so I can get back on A and I can use C or D. D I will be in first gear, C I will be in the fourth um, gear, but I'm using C so that it's not pulling the tractor down so much whenever I take off and things of that nature. So let me get my point A. This is my point A. I'm gonna make this my point A. I actually think I can see where Dan was at before though. I might. Nah, I'm just I'm just gonna stick with this because there'll be places in the field where it's grown back together so well that you won't be able to tell his tracks from before. Alright you guys, so I'm uh oh man this is so sketchy there's a trench somewhere in this field a deep one on this end on these end roads this might be it oh i hope this is it because it's deep where is it at oh, oh yeah man great day it's just on the other side of that opening great day oh man that was violent I'm trying to tell you, I was, the last field I was in, there was trenches in that field, but I had no idea where they were. I, I couldn't tell where they were to save my life. So, man, I got banged up. I got banged up, you guys. <laughs> All right, so we made it back. We made it back to that pass. You know what? I'm going to back up into it. I'm going to back up into it. 
and it'll get me back in line with where I align the GPS and this time it'll be easier finding my next pass over because I got my inroad pass made here and it's just going straight over instead of like how I messed up in the last field well not the last field but where y'all saw me looking at it and waiting to turn so I think I'm gonna turn about right here and that'll put it close to the zero mark sometimes you just got to get over so even after turning in so here we are this is it try to keep it on zero there and like I said I can see some of where Dan made his pass up ahead of us so sometimes you can see it and sometimes you can't you know it's times like this when I wish we had the auto steer because using this is a little bit of a hassle out there in the beans because it's telling you to go one place and then the next second it's like wait a minute that can't be right <laughs> and you be steering all over the field like man this can't be right this can't be right <laughs> i'm looking at these passes i made i'm like oh boy i don't know about that you guys all right you guys so we're headed to spray the beans that are on the far side of the peanuts here and i've seen something go under the water y'all see the canadian geese almost make me wonder if it was a beaver over there hanging out with them i swan that i seen something big go under the water that would be funny if that was a beaver Um, I don't know the name of that bird. It's got long legs and a long neck. It's not, it's not that same. Oh, that's a turtle. It's not that same bird that we saw the last time that be eating up all the fish. I forgot the name of that thing. But that, the name of that bird is more, is it a crane? I think it's a crane. But anyway, that bird is, is gone now. You can't see that joker. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, we heading to these beans that we always pass by whenever we be spraying the peanuts. Yeah, it's not a crane, it's the great blue heron. That's the bird, that's the bird. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get this little piece of a field knocked out, and then there's a field in the back back there. Yeah, so I'm gonna get this field knocked out now, and I'm gonna tell you the truth, I'm ready to be in a field that got some planter rolls and not the drill rolls. Wait a minute, you guys. I got to back up right here. Something has dug up some peanuts over here. I mean, they dug them up, flipped them right side up. Wow, and I didn't even know that many peanuts were starting to grow on the bush yet. What in the world has done this? You guys see this? It already begins. That looks like what a bear do right there great they pulled up the whole plant my 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 oh yeah I see a, a bear track right there you guys wow wow I'm trying to see if I can see a more legible print over here but I don't see one it begins already, you guys. And this is sort of weird for a bear to be here on this farm right here, doing it like that. My, my, my. Well, let me get on back to it. Well, we get ready to head to another farm. All right, my guy, got a side cut on there. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm heading to some fields now that Dan planted with the planter. Man, maybe we'll be able to see our rolls better because I've been struggling. Wow, I've been struggling. <laughs> got the grass fields. Rudy got mowed up there. They still looking nice and mowed. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at it. There's a deer back there. I see you in the corner. I see you in the corner, deer. Yep. Oh, a couple of them. Lord have mercy. You guys know where we had it? Yeah, take a guess. Ha 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 ha! 
Yeah, you know where we headed now, don't you? Did you guess right? How many of you got it right? <laughs> yeah, we are at Beaver Dam Creek, you guys. And it needs to be mowed out here. And I need to gear down because it's so bumpy on this road. It really needs to be mowed out here. Wow. Thing is, I don't, I don't have time to get out and look. It don't look like anything is backed up over there, nor over there. Oh, got to go in that deep dip there. But yeah, you guys, so we got to get this field sprayed. Mother Beaver Dam and those dams are that way. And then uh, the one through six Beaver Dams are that way. You got Mother Beaver Dam, Beaver Dam at the tree, uh, the monstrous Beaver Dam, the Beaver Dam that Danny uh, dug out. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to work on it, you guys. I'll probably check back in when we get to that place that had the water standing over there. Um, I don't got time to get out. I really don't. I don't have time to get out and look at any of the uh, the dams. So, sorry about that. We'll have to do that another time. But I can show you guys that we got roads to follow. This is what I'm talking about. Yes! Now we're winning. <laughs> This takes my stress level down some. <laughs> I can follow the roads, you guys. Man, you guys don't even understand how this last pass I got right here, with just that one boom spraying, it's bringing me right to the mouth of Mother Beaver Dam number one. And I want to get out. The entrance is right there, you guys. Oh, my, 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 my. I got to have control. Oh, I got to have temperance. I can't get out. I can't get out. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. And yet another Beaver Dam entrance. Oh. All right, you guys. So I'm turning, and I'm about to have to go down. I was doing the ends. And I'm going to have to hit the ends here. But right here is where the water is normally standing. There's not one ounce of water out there, you guys. I don't see one place where there's one drop of water. <laughs> but anyway, let me... Oh, wait a minute. I got to back up. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I got to turn right here. But yeah, there's no water out there. I guess we'll see it again whenever I'm I'm doing the end rolls. Hey guys, Beaver Dam number four and number six is right there. But we can't go in. We don't have time. We don't have the time, you guys. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we're getting ready to ride through again. There's usually water standing right here, and then. On the other side of this little hill is where we were just looking at. It's usually standing right there. You can tell the difference in the beans. They look a little more yellower. But, hey, it's not a big place. You can see better from the tractor now that it's not, you know, it's not too badly affected. All right, you guys. So I'm about to wrap this video on up. We riding through that spot again. Them beans, they're a little bit yellow there. But anyway, I was... I was just thinking about, again, how, like literally, I'm glad to be in some fields with some rolls because spraying the beans where I planted with the drill is really stressful because I want to do it right, you know, but man, using that, <laughs> using that little GPS, it's a little bit of a hassle at times, man. But anyway, I know that, you know, a lot of you guys are going through things a whole lot more stressful than that, you know what I'm saying? And, uh... I just want to speak the peace of God over your life. You might not even be saved. You, you may be watching this video and you don't even know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I pray that you experience the peace of God even right now as I'm speaking over your life. Whatever that thing is that's stressing you out or those things that's stressing you out, I pray right now that the peace of God overtake you. Hallelujah like never before as you just surrender those things to him 
you will experience the peace of God that passes all understanding. Huh. My, my, my. Hey, I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching on today. I, I didn't intend to be this long, but man, y'all know stuff be happening. Y'all know stuff be happening. I'm, che I'm checking out the scene, rolling through slowly. <laughs> but, uh, oh, look at this vine. Oh, man, trying to mess me up. Lord have mercy. <laughs> trying to disturb my peace while I'm speaking the peace over you. That's okay. Don't worry about me. Just enjoy that peace that you're going to experience. Because now I'm going to have to get out and get that untangled. <laughs> that, the devil mad at me because I'm speaking peace over your life. Anyway, <laughs> hey, you guys stay blessed. You guys keep encouraged. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>